my name is uh, Wei Na Zhang. I'm an associate professor of finance at NUS Business School. Uh, over the years, I have been working in research and education in sustainability areas. I have conducted academic research, applied research. I have also taught students at various levels, such as undergraduate, master, and adult learners. My interest in sustainable finance actually started way back in 2013, while my first academic paper on gray stocks were presented to UNPRI investment audience at NUS. And over the years, I have also been approached by various firms in documenting their impact of socially responsible business activities. So in summary, I have accumulated a lot of research and practical experiences, and I'm now eager to contribute more in terms of educating a new generation of talents for sustainable and green finance field. So currently, my title is also uh, academic director for a new master program in sustainable and green finance. And I'm also the deputy director of a newly established uh, sustainable and green finance institute in NUS. Let me start with the concept of finance first. I consider finance is a very important intermediate role to match the supply and the demand of the money. So the supply of the money usually come from households, individuals, uh, institutions, and then the demand for money is usually go to the business entities, corporate sectors. So coming back to green finance, this concept is still uh, not clearly defined, but it is a very general term that basically refers to financial investment flowing from the sustainable uh, projects and initiatives. And it can also flow into environment products and uh, policies that encourage the development of a more sustainable economy. So basically green finance is very broad. It can include like climate finance, but it is not limited to it. It also can refer to a wide range of other environment objectives, such as industry pollution control, water sanitation, or biodiversity protection. So the mitigation and adaptation finance is also can be considered part of the green finance. So in all, I think green finance is a very broad term, and it basically uh, describes the process of the money flow from those who have the money to the projects that is going to create green and sustainable impact. So the new master program uh, is going to extend the conventional financial models to incorporate social and environment considerations such that we can equip and empower the students with relevant knowledge and skills in sustainable and green finance. And moreover, I think that in order to enhance the students' impact on investment and business decisions, our program also would provide experiential learning and exposure to the financial and corporate sectors in the region. So ultimately, our graduates should be able to contribute to a more sustainable society and a greener planet. So basically, I think that our program aims to fill the critical gap in our world of rising social and environmental challenges in Asian context. So traditionally, we see the talents in sustainable finance are usually coming from American universities or the European universities. But we also realize that there are a lot of contextualized challenges and uh, issues that are related to Asian region. So we find a pressing need to prepare our future generation to tackle the contextualized sustainable issues in Asia. So therefore we designed the master program with a lot of uh, local cases and uh, business experiences in our teaching materials, which will make our graduates more relevant for this part of the world. We believe that this uh, program should be uh, general enough for all people who are having the passion to contribute to the sustainable corporate and financial sectors going forward. So we will prepare the students without the financial background to learn the investment principles, financial models, and valuations. So all these things will help them to step up to tackle the more challenging issues in the sustainable finance sector. 
uh, our ideal uh, plan for our graduates are going to be uh, at two fronts. One is at the corporate sector. So they will be able to help the business entities to develop, design, and even to measure and monitor all the sustainable efforts that the company is putting in and generating the value creation. Secondly, we hope that our graduates would be able to contribute to the uprising financial sector in this because we see a lot of capital inflows into this region. And we also see that a lot of companies and entrepreneurs having sustainable solutions, they are also requiring the financial help. So this is our hope to see our graduates to be. But of course, that will not be the only limited places our graduates would be. So some of them may end up with, the, you know, the government agencies or NGOs or social entities or even, you know, uh, some kind of uh, uh, international organization who are also working together to tackle the challenges in this part of the world. I believe that our new master program is the first in Singapore and uh, also possibly in Asia. We have done a very thorough research. We haven't seen a similar program, especially by the leading Asian universities. So we are very excited that, that we are among the one of the first to launch this program. So why Asia? Okay, so I will point out uh, in the recent uh, COP26 conference, uh, there is a very uh, hot debate about uh, whether you know only the developed countries should contribute to a more sustainable future, should cut down their carbon emissions. And the challenges faced by a lot of developing countries are economic development. So uh, we hope that by introducing our educational program, we can provide new solutions that is going to achieve both the economic development as well as sustainable development development outcomes so we don't see it as a win or lose situation but we can actually help to create an ecosystem that can produce win-win solutions so in this part of uh, con uh, continent i think that a lot of the developing countries are still looking for economic development but we want to propose and showcase some of more sustainable business models that is going to help everyone uh, as well as you know the planet I think that uh, the other thing I would like to mention is about our new institute, SG Fin, which is a sustainable and green finance institute. So our institute is set up, uh, backed by Monetary Authority of Singapore, and it aimed to achieve basically four pillars uh, of activities. The first one is, of course, academic research, right? So we'll continue to use evidence-based research findings to support decision making by corporates as well as by you know possibly policy makers the second pillar is going to focus on the educational program that i have mentioned and it's also going to extend not just the master degree but also the adult learning and as well as corporate executive education so these are all in the pipeline to come and uh, the third pillar is going to focus on this uh, particular important thing which is the uh, impact assessment framework we would like to bring in new information about what the corporates are doing in terms of the sustainable fronts. And by constructing such kind of measures in uh, Singapore context as well as in Asian context, you will fill in a very critical gap of information that investors and corporates would actually need to push the capital and the investment forward. The last pillar, but not the least, is to use our knowledge, use our skills, and to be engaged with the industry. So we'll continue to be involved with the development of the market and the corporate sector, such that our knowledge and information will always constantly be updated. <music>